Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Is your computer ready for Windows 11? How do you know if your machine's going to run Windows 11? Microsoft have published a set of minimum requirements that look like this. It has a bunch of stuff that covers pretty much any machine made in the last decade, like a one gigahertz processor and four gigabytes of RAM. And these are easy to work out. But there's some things there that aren't quite so easy to tell. Microsoft had an update checker on their website, but took it down, and at the moment it's listed as coming soon. Well, so is Windows 11, real soon. The two things most likely to stop you upgrading are the lack of a TPM 2.0 module and no secure boot. I'll explain what they are and how to tell in just a minute. First though, I want to say that they've been around in most PCs since about 2016. That means that if you don't have them, it's quite likely that your machine is more than five years old. And that's getting old in computer terms. If you don't have those two things, it might be fairly difficult to install Windows 11, but not impossible. You have three options. Once Windows 11 comes out and we get to see the actual system as it's released, there will be steps you can take to upgrade your computer. They may not be easy and they won't be fully supported by Microsoft, but we should be able to get it to work. Option two is you could buy a new PC. Either buy one now and upgrade it as soon as it comes out, or wait a few weeks and buy it with Windows 11 pre-installed, ready to go. Option three is you can stay on Windows 10. In talking with mum, who really only uses her computer to play a few games, she might stay on Windows 10 and be happy. It'll be around supported until 2025, and maybe by then she'll be ready for a new computer, because the one she has is probably gonna be over 10 years old. So, can we run it? The Windows Update Checker will tell us when they actually release it, but if you wanna know now, then let's dig in. The two items we're looking at are all about security. So why is that important? Well, Microsoft is touting Windows 11 as the most secure Windows yet, so they want to make sure they're using all the security features that are available. Most of these features have actually been around, but disabled by the manufacturer for the better part of six years. Now, Microsoft is starting to enforce them, and there's good reason why. On their security blog, they have this article, which quotes 60% fewer active malware reports on Surface PCs with the new security features enabled and that's just with Windows 10. So, what are these features? The first one is TPM, the Trusted Platform Module, which needs to be a version 2.0 module. The TPM is used to generate and store cryptographic keys to protect encrypted data and credentials, and it's been required by Microsoft of all of their system integrators since 2016, and has in fact been built into most systems since 2015. But it's often disabled by default, on consumer-based machines or custom-built machines. It's starting to get more common now as it's used by Windows Hello, and especially in corporate environments, by BitLocker Drive Encryption. Does your computer have it? If it's turned on, it's easy to tell. Click Start and type TPM, and the system should offer you the Security Processor Settings pane. Click Enter and you'll see a screen that looks a bit like this. TPM is active and version 2.0. This machine is ready to go. This machine does not have a TPM module active. It's possible it's there, but just disabled. In fact, this machine does have a TPM. To enable it, I had to press F2 as the machine started up to enter the BIOS. Go into the security menu and select TPM security. I turned it on and then clicked apply. This added in the extra options to activate it and turn on TPM APCI support. I ticked both of them and applied again. When this was applied, I had even more options, which I don't need. I applied, and on reboot, the TPM is there, but unfortunately on this machine is only version 1.2, which is not really that surprising, the machines from 2013. This machine cannot do a standard upgrade to Windows 11. The next item is Secure Boot. Secure Boot boosts security by blocking non-certified drivers and ensures no unauthorized changes have been made to your system or its drivers as it boots. Most PCs since 2013 can support it, but the way your Windows has been installed may not support it. 
To find out, you need to run the System Information Utility. Click Start and type Sysinfo, and you should be offered the System Information Utility. Press Enter. The two fields you are looking for are Secure Boot State and BIOS Mode. If your system boot state is on like this, then you are set and this part of your system is Windows 11 ready. If it's off, but your BIOS mode is set to UEFI, there are some relatively simple steps you should be able to take that should get you secure boot enabled and ready to go. We'll cover these in detail in the next few weeks. So you can see here, if you have a TPM 2.0 and secure boot, you are almost certainly Windows 11 ready. If not, stay tuned over the next couple of weeks and see if and how you can get your PC upgraded once the upgrade is made available to everyone. Question of the day, is your PC Windows 11 ready? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video is useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here and to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.